Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm doing a review of a kitchen timer. This particular model is made by a company called Umido. Um, so this particular kitchen timer comes with two functions. So it has a countdown timer and also a count up timer. Okay guys, so let's have a look at each of these functions. So in order to switch on the timer, you just need to press this button here and you just press it to the right and you can see that the LED display will come on. Now if you want to use the countdown timer, what you can do is just rotate the dial here on the right hand side and once you've got the desired setting or time in this case set, so let's say if I want to do have a countdown of one minute, all you need to do is turn the dial until you get to one minute and obviously you can go backwards and forwards and you just press the button on the right hand side again and the countdown will start. So it's really as simple as that. And what happens is when the countdown actually reaches zero, you will hear the timer alarm go off. And there, you can hear that the timer has now gone off. And also the LED displays uh, starts flashing, as you can see there. And to turn the actual alarm off, you just press this button here on the right hand side again. So I'm just going to press it again. And there you go, it's now switched off and it's gone back to the previous settings. Now if you wanted to reset this so it's back to 000, you just hold down the button again. And there you go, it just goes down to, and that just resets the timer. The count up function works in a similar way, except that you don't need to use the dial to turn the, the timer up. So press the right hand button to bring up the display, like I've done now, and all you need to do then is just press the button again. And there you go, it's going to start counting up. And that will just keep going until you press the button again on the right hand side. So if you press it again, you can see that it's paused. So they are the two basic functions that this kitchen timer has. And if you don't use the timer for a period of time, you can see that the display just goes blank. And that helps to preserve the battery that comes with the timer. Speaking of the battery, it takes a single AAA battery, which you can in insert by opening the casing here. So if I just turn that around, you can see that there's the battery there and it just comes out. So there's a AAA battery which actually comes with the unit. So just going to put that back in. Guys, if you're wondering how wide the actual timer is, it's very compact and it's about 11 centimeters wide. So just going to show you that now. Let's bring this a bit closer. So you can see there it's like I said about 11 centimeters wide. So the final thing I wanted to show you guys is that it has a magnetic back. So you'll see at the back you've got one of these clips and that actually just comes off and that's a piece of magnet and it clips onto the actual kitchen timer. So you can see that it's clipped on magnetically and because it's magnetic you can also then clip this on to anything that is magnetic which is really handy if you want to uh, for example store it somewhere simple uh, without leaving it in for example a kitchen drawer. I've mounted mine actually on the fridge. Let me show you guys. So guys this is the side of my fridge and you can see that this is where I keep my kitchen timer just here and like I said it's magnetic so it just sticks onto the side of the fridge um, and I've got a few other things there as well as you can see it's a really handy for me to just keep my uh, timer here so yeah it might be the same for you guys or you might have a different place to keep yours guys I hope you found this review useful I've left a link in the description where you can get one of these from please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching guys